Hello, Declan McKenna. Welcome to Birmingham. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. How are you? I'm doing very well, thank you. It's kind of sweaty though today. I feel like I was outside for five minutes and I got sunburned. How are yeah. you holding up? I'm very, very warm. I Still kind of need a shower. You've gone for the, the two top buttons undone, so that's kind of good tactics. so though. warm, yeah. It's yeah. kind of hard to avoid the sort hmm. of the slightly raunchier, raunchier Declan vibes. McKenna vibe. Yeah, and I mean, uh, what do you think about the car? Yeah, um, the real question is, what do you think about the car? I think it's really good. Yeah. Which car is it? What kind of make a car? Uh, I believe it was actually a Toyota Previa. Did you crash it? No, no I think okay. we. I did. As far as I can think, it's still the car we have today. Yeah. But I'm honestly not sure because I was like four years old when we filmed <laughs> the video and I haven't really asked any of my family yeah. members. But. And, and what made you choose that title for the album? Is it like the sense of journey or escape that I feel like comes through a lot in your music? Um. Yeah. I think it's like. I mean, that sort of. The little sound bite from like a home video thing from is it's kind of like my first reference to having an album and once I kind mm. of re-found that I was just a bit like oh yeah. yeah it's like that makes sense to be the first kind of my first album title because it's my yeah. first reference to having an album the first you know you know in my earliest sort of days of, of wanting to be a musician. I feel like your music is almost kind of zeitgeisty and it, it kind of encapsulates your generation, kind of millennials. Do you feel like you're a voice for those people? Do you try to just, what happens to people like yourself really? I, I think I kind of get the like voice of a generation <laughs> Bit of tagline. overused. Yeah, I think it's overused. I think yeah. um, there's a lot of voices. I think, you know, <laughs> we will be, you know, if there's a voice, of, if there is one, one actual voice yeah, of this is, generation. Yeah, you are it. If there is Kanye one West. actual voice, we'll probably we'll probably know what it is in hindsight. Yeah, <laughs> they'll probably do something like past like writing songs yeah, about the, the David Bowie shit. of the because because for myself like I you know I'm, I write songs about things I think are bad. I don't think that's like means I'm the voice of a generation by any shit. Like I, yeah. I try my best, but I'm not like I, I don't think I'm exceptional <clears> or an exception to the rule of like most young people yeah. at the minute. Um, I think there's definitely a lot of change happening uh, mm. like with uh, amongst myself and, and you know younger mm. peers and young you know young people in general so I think um, there's a lot of voices to be heard. Obviously you know it's very easy to listen to one that's like you're signed to a major label. But, yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah. <laughs> I feel like the one thing you really do well with your music though is represent LGBT issues and I think this is a generational thing as well because I mean I'm 21, so I'm only kind of a few years older than you, but I remember having a memory at school where a friend came in and was, was in the process of transitioning and we just didn't know how to react. But like in your music, do you feel like your generation is almost the first to kind of embrace the fact that growing up, part of that is questioning your gender? Um, in, a large, in a large way, yeah. I think, you know, I think um, a lot of people are like less likely to stick to gender norms to like, you know, be like fixated on what the, you know the kind of gender that they're assigned at birth and and the, and I think the same with, with sexuality but you know in 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 both senses there's still a lot of work to be done there's still Definitely. obviously within the old generations with our generation yeah. there is a lot of yeah. like ignorance there is a lot of you know misunderstanding of people and just like kind of not allowing yeah. sort of certain identities which I think um, definitely needs to change. And is that part of what the kids don't want to come home is about? Because I think you channel that very much in the video, like it's yeah. what it's like to be a young person, I think you said in the, the behind the scenes bit. Yeah, I think um, as uh, it's someone who's young, there is just generally a lot of questioning, a lot of a lot of confusion, especially with the age of the internet. There's so much information, you like uh, us told so many different angles, so many different viewpoints, it kind of made to feel insecure, made to feel scared. Um, via you know TV, via media, via you know big corporations. You're meant to feel scared and feel worried and and I think um, that all sort of has been channeled into this generation which is so overwhelmed with advertising, mm. with social media, with you know um, I guess self-image is a big one like with Instagram and with Snapchat obviously you know there's a lot of ignorance from old generations mm. about that sort of stuff but there definitely are problems um, in, in regards to self-image and, and self-worth and and all these things that, that uh, you know, most young people have struggled with. Another big theme in your music is sport, and I mean, you're a big sports fan. I think Brazil, obviously, you wrote that kind of tongue-in-cheek, yeah. and yeah. and then we, we actually do a, a sports music show on Brom Radio. Big plug, Mondays, 4 p.m. Catch it now. <laughs> <laughs> I just worked that. It was seamless, wasn't it? You didn't it even was. notice. I didn't notice. You didn't notice at all. Not but I feel like um, 
obviously Brazil is obviously a commentary on FIFA. You're a Spurs fan, so how are you feeling at the moment about that? Uh, Premier League season just over. You know what? Um, I feel I don't feel too bad about yeah. it. I think I would have taken I would have taken second at the start. The whole Arsenal thing. That's well, not a big deal, really. Finishing above them. It's it's you know it's not a big deal. Yeah. Um, well, I think <laughs> I think we're all really hoping to win the league. Like we yeah. this season we have been so good and. It's just a shame that also Chelsea were back on form this season. You know, when Chelsea yeah, cool. are good, they have a great, you know, they have a great medical team, they have a great youth team, they have, you know, all of these different yeah. things that come into it. That a, a great medical team when they're not being like shouted off the field or anything. Something like yeah, that. Sorry, Jose. But you know, um, uh, but also it is just always very bitter to to be defeated by anyone managed by Jose Mourinho. <laughs> <laughs> he is genuinely the, the, possibly. The, the most arrogant yeah. person ever. Not a fan. <laughs> Let's start some Twitter beef there. If he had Twitter, I'd start he can get Twitter, Twitter beef with Piers Morgan once. Of all the people to start Twitter beef with, that is the worthiest fight you can ever yeah. pick. I, I stopped it after after. Well, what's the then. point? I, I think he, yeah. he just his moral compass kind of depends on what people are feeling. It's well, kind that's of the thing. Pandering. Like I was never getting anywhere with it. Really. Well, yeah. I was just. Twitter it was argument. like. He, you know, he, he wasn't having it. Nah, I wasn't he's not having, having it. it. So I was just it's like, the oh. Arsenal, it's the Spurs, it's the feminists need to get laid versus the peers. You probably shouldn't say that. Anyway, <laughs> so I feel like back on the topic of sport, well, I guess facing Piers Morgan could be a sport. Um, Esports as well is like a big thing. And I noticed at the end of Brazil, there's a little bit of a vocal sample saying, and that was my triple collateral on free for all. Declan McKenna, would you like to explain to the Boys and girls at home, what a triple collateral on free for all is. Um, if you've ever played Call of Duty, other video games are, are available. Are available Battlefield and non-shooty games as well. Uh, yeah, other non-shooty games, um, which are to blame for everything in this world. GTA, yeah, violence. And to actually to blame for everything. Um, it's basically where you, <laughs> you gun man's down <laughs> and you get three of them in like one, one bang. Yeah. So it's like one bang, all, three, three man's mm. dead. <laughs> like 1v1 on Rust style kind of. Um, or is that a bit cool? You know, it can be quite it peak. Can be, video games, it, <laughs> it can, can be, be very peak. Um, and th that particular clip, well, basically me and Max Marlow, who produced that track, um, used to kind of go on little tangents on in the studio where we just kind of look at like MLG yeah. memes and stuff. <laughs> it's a, a slippery and big black hole. There is one called Oh Baby A Triple which also was where the oh yeah sample is from. Oh. Um, but actually um, we didn't actually use the sample from that song. It oh, was okay. Max's voice pitched up. Um, just to avoid, I mean, I'm sure that kid wouldn't have sued us. But yeah, I mean, it is an amazing video. It's like something you have in common with Skepta, I think, as well. Because he, yeah. he sampled that, obviously. I think that was a legit one, though, just some random kid who was beefing. Mm. Yeah. And just before we wrap off, I'll realise we go back. Uh, Change Room Mix, we do a little feature on Brum Radio where we get artists, musicians like yourself to pick three tracks, three songs that somehow relate to sport. Can you think of three off the top of your head that we can um, play? I'll, I'll try and do it. Yeah. First one would be music. one of is this band I saw. In the venue that we were actually playing on Friday, but in the like little room, we're doing the bigger room now. Yep. Um, at Doctor Hot Fest a couple of years ago. Yep. Not any. The Wonder Villains. Yep. Um, Zola. Obviously, that campaign. <sighs> I'm a Birmingham City fan, Declan. Can we not? Like, it's been a hard time for me. The keeper said to Zola. You're dead when this is over, and you're out until October. Yeah, it's really awkward though. My, fr such a good song. my friend is a Spurs fan, and I bet with him that Manchester United were going to finish above Spurs. And my penalty was having to change my profile picture to Roman Pavlyuchenko relegating Birmingham City in 2011. Oof. That was a tough week of my life. Pavlyuchenko. We man. were trying to sign him as what well. A, what, a, what a geese. What a geese. What a, geese. What a name. Pavlyuchenko. He was like one of. He was really good on his day. Just, on his day, but but only just, against us when we were trying. To, only against like. Birmingham oh, yeah. or like Wigan or whoever. Well, we've got Harry Redknapp now, so we're going to take him from wherever he is now. Go on, Harry. Somewhere. Go on, Harry. Um, but brilliant. So I met Harry Redknapp once. Really? Is he a nice guy? Just shook his hand. Shook is that one of those hand? football tournaments? No. Yeah. Yeah. I think about the tax, we won't mention that. Um, so the, the other two songs? Um, oh, wait, I need to... Yeah, we'll get the phone out. Uh, I'm trying to remember there's one that's really good. Just like elevator music right now. Oh, oh right. I, I think I can remember it. Wait, okay, right, I think okay. it's World Emotion. World, em World Emotion. Is that a new order? 
think so. Yes, that's Love's what... got the word. But like, you know, the football one? Yeah! Oh, is there, is there a, a mix of it that was on, like, a FIFA World Cup or something? Yeah, yeah, there was, it was like... I'm trying to remember, like, the... the mm. other version that was, like, the football one. Is, is there a Love's special mix of it? Love's got the word in Yeah. We'll try and find that for you. We'll try and find out. You should, you should that, do a cover of it. Was, that's a good one. Do a cover of it and re-record it and we can play yeah. that. And final track on a change remix, a big final epic track. ending song. Um, um, if you want to like... Oh, up, yeah? Numbers on the boards, Pusha T. Nice. Where's the link? Ballers. Ballers. I put, ballers, I put numbers on the boards. Hard to get a handle on That's clever. Sword. <laughs> I like the way you did the motions as well. It's like we could ballers. make a whole dance for I, I can't so do the ballers, Macarena, this is just horrible you know, for me. You've got Harry Kane, he's a baller. He puts numbers he is a on baller. Balls. Well, does he put... Well, he's not basketball, but he's still... Like, I'm sure he's good at basketball as well. But, you know, ballers, <clears> you know, playing basketball, throwing the ball into throwing. the hoop and thus uh, if putting, I, can, raising the score can, of the team and the number goes up on the board. Charlie, can we just have a panning shot of this room? I feel like we really need a basket. If you like pan around, I've, we, there really needs to be like a basketball hoop just up there. That this would is be the stage we're playing tonight, is, by the way. This is the sold out room. Is, that, is, 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 is it Declan? <laughs> is it really? <laughs> but yes, that's the pan around. We'll work on getting a basketball hoop. And finally, Declan, thank you very much for chatting to us. When's your new album? Are you allowed to say it or is it yeah, super it's secret? Yeah, it's out. Uh, well, it's not out, it's out. The, the, the I've got now. a bootleg copy. 21st of July. 21st of July, good, good date. It's a very good date. Um... <laughs>